invest in preparedness, not in prediction, said by Mr. Naseem Talib, a very famous and known name in the finance world for his approach towards risk management, which is different and unique in the sense that he looks at uncertainty in a very, very different format and how it can be used to manage your risk. He's more famously known, well known by many of you as the author of the book, The Black Swan. So in this video, we are going to talk about how preparedness versus prediction can help you for your exam related to SEBI General 2024. Yes, one of the biggest questions, when will this notification come is now over with an advance and no, uh, short notification being released by SEBI and with further details awaited to come out by the 13th of April. Hello everyone, welcome to iExamB and prepare 50% faster by embracing the iExamB learning experience. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to remain updated about all notifications and information and knowledge and content related to the preparation of your exams. As I mentioned, the short notification or the advanced advertisement related to SEBI general grade A examination is already out and the details for this exam and the application link will be open on the 13th of April 2024 on SEBI's website. There are various vacancies that have come, around 97 vacancies are out, out of which the general vacancies uh, uh, for the general stream are for 62 vacancies that have come out where you are eligible if you have a postgraduate graduation or master's degree in any of the discipline or if you have a bachelor's in law or a bachelor's in engineering or if you have professional qualifications like a CA, CFA, company secretary or a cost accountant. A very very important thing to note here there is no minimum marks criteria in this particular exam. So there has been no changes with respect to eligibility for the general stream uh, for the SEBI exam as has been now clarified in this particular advanced notification. If you need any further details about other streams where the application uh, uh, will also be taken is related to legal, research, official language, engineering and IT, you can watch our detailed video on our YouTube channel related to the notification. So this is about the notification, but what next? Before I start answering your questions, uh, let me inform you at iExamB, we are starting a new batch for the general stream uh, vacancies, which are 62 vacancies that have come out from tomorrow, that is the March 19th. And uh, you will be guided by very experienced faculties for the various subjects of general, including myself, Prachi Agarwal. I have an MBA in finance with more than 15 years of experience in the finance space. Uh, Prateek Sir, who is a chartered accountant, qualified chartered accountant, uh, and has a lot of experience in audit and financial statements. And ma'am Neha Ma'am, who is an expert uh, in companies law, and you will be guided by various other experts like Sushil sir, Dr. Sharma, Tushar sir, Amit sir and Satakshi ma'am and the like. We have had very good uh, uh, selections in the past and over the years in the various streams of SEBI including the latest selections in legal that had come out uh, early January uh, where we had 50% selections also. Moving on with your questions, now that the notification is out, the question about when will the notification and if the notification will ever come out is over. However, you are now puzzled with many other questions. Will the exam pattern change? Will there the syllabus change for the general stream? Will I be able to clear it if I have enough time, if I am not a CA or a non-finance student or is the exam you know, tilted towards or giving preference to finance students? Am I a CA and if I am a CA, will it be easy for me to do this exam or not? Will the exam date be out soon or what exactly will be the exam date? How much time will I get between phase one and phase two? Other questions like which subjects are important? What all should I study? What have I been, what have been the past year questions? What is the weightage of numerical in this exam? What to do if I am a working professional? What can be my preparation strategy as of now that I know that on the 13th of April, the detailed notification will be out. 
to answer your questions if you are falling in the first category of questions which are in this list one I will suggest you to stop right away and not waste your time because these are the questions I am not going to address in this particular video. The questions that I will be addressing are in on, on your right side, which is uh, related to the subjects, the preparation strategy, understanding the exam. If you are really interested in the questions which are from the list one, we have already done a lot of YouTube videos at our youtube channels related to this like what will be the possibility about the exam pattern change we have done similar video in terms of what those changes can be and how you can prepare for them and what is the likely date for the exam has also been discussed by sushil ragre sir who is mostly always uh, accurate with his information related to notifications and exam dates he has discussed this in this video also so if you are still looking for these answers and predicting and looking and you are more motivated towards the prediction side you can go ahead and watch these videos for the other students who are looking at questions about how they should be now utilizing their time if not already done because many students are already been preparing for this exam from a long time and are you know at a good stage at this particular level but if you are starting now if you did not know about this exam before you still have a good enough time to do it in a very methodological manner how do you do that which subjects are important so in the general stream what is different from other streams is the paper two which is more specific to the general stream there is another paper one which relates to your aptitude subjects like your quant reasoning english and ga these question these uh, sections uh, paper is uh, qualifying in nature paper 2 also at phase 1 as of now is qualifying in nature however it has a good importance in your phase 2 and therefore uh, it it has a different uh, aspect but in quant reasoning English, you can attempt certain past year papers or mock tests to understand where you are uh, standing and therefore improve on the areas of your strength to qualify these subjects. We will concentrate more on the paper two for the general stream in this particular video. So the subjects that have been important are a very good mix of the subjects that are stated, which includes your accountant, commerce and accountancy, management, finance, costing, companies act and economics is well distributed uh, uh, across the past patterns that we have seen since the syllabus is in force. If you say the combination of accounts and costing around very easily contributes 35 percent together for the overall paper followed by finance and economics making up another 30 to 33 percent of the paper and the remaining 30 percent is contributed by your management and companies act so a very good distribution of these papers uh, of all these subjects have been seen in the past for these papers having said that a good importance can be given to accounts and account, uh, costing and your companies act as important subjects followed by finance and management economics but should all the subjects uh, have equal uh, preparation strategy that will totally depend on your background which we tell in detail when we are discussing and carrying out the classes what has been the weightage of the numericals in the past numericals do have a good amount of weightage in these exams in 2020 phase 2 if you see and in 22 also phase 2 has a higher weightage of numericals uh, and you can expect easily uh, you know 10 to 11 which is a, which is a good 20 percent of your overall exam uh, marks because in the actual exam you get 50 questions so after 50 questions 9 to 10 questions from numerical have a good weightage in the phase 2 as has been seen in the past in phase 1 also one or two simple level kind of questions or no numericals can be asked depending on year to year the topics which are mostly asked in the numericals relate to either the subjects of accounts or 
costing, which include your ratio analysis, inventory and depreciation related questions, forex related simple questions, break even analysis and market and ma sorry, marginal costing questions or unit costing questions. So very um, conceptual type of topics have been picked up for numerical and even the questions test on your conceptual understanding of these topics through the numerical. What all should you be studying? From the past trends and the importance of these subjects for SEBI, the kind of topics that you should be studying from all of the C subject, six subjects have been summarized here. In commerce and accountancy, the most important is if uh, understanding, clearing your concepts related to the accounting principles and the conventions of accounting and rules. In your accounting standards, talking about inventory, revenue recognition, and PPE, which relates to, you know, uh, uh, property and plant and equipments and the depreciation topic are the most important topics uh, under accounting standards. Um, I would add here, given the rise of movement towards, uh, giving the phasing of and movement towards in AS, uh, one should also be aware about the latest uh, points in relation to the uh, in AS of 109 to some extent. Then uh, rights and buyback uh, amongst the share transaction rights and buyback are relatively more important and the most important topic for commerce and accountancy is your financial statements both the preparation and the analysis part. Moving to management the rules and functions of a manager various kinds of leadership styles some of the motivation theories and communication are the most important topics. Having said that, these three become the most important and the priority topics to be done. In finance, your general financial awareness, what is SEBI saying, what are the markets happening, what is the financial world talking all about, the financial instruments and your basic concepts in relation to the terminology and the areas of interest of SEBI, whether it is investment advisors, whether it is stock markets and IPOs, whether it is um, uh, uh, your SME uh, IPOs and the stocks or its regulations uh, related to ensuring the security and protection of investors will any concepts related to, I'm not asking about the regulations I'm saying any concepts terminologies like what is a mutual fund what is a debt instrument what is a bond uh, who is regulating what who is an FPI what is the rules related to FPIs uh, that uh, SEBI is talking about these could be your important areas to be preparing for. In costing, marginal costing is very, very important. Key definitions related to various terminologies, starting from the basics of what a costing is, what costing is, what a cost center is, what is a prime cost, what is an implicit cost, all these kind of definitions and terminologies you should be aware about. Uh, few years in the back in the past we have also seen a good amount of weightage given to lean systems which can be a very very scoring because it's a theoretical topic and can be very scoring for you so this should not be left out because if this is ours it gives a very good chance for you to score well in companies at pros already the syllabus is very very narrow within that also prospectus and allotment related rules and regulations dividend related and independent directors and auditors related other priority topics to be done. In economics, your national income, fiscal and monetary policy, any basic economic terminologies, your demand and supply basics and market structure basics are other few topics that you should be concentrating on. So I hope in detail I have been able to tell you what are the most important topics that should be done on priority if you've not already done these. Next question, what have been the past year questions? The past year questions is a very, very good way to start and understand your exam and to structure your preparation. For this, the tests are available on our website at SEBI freely, which is where you can go under the past previous year papers section. Under SEBI, you will find questions for phase one, phase two, paper two for both phase one and phase two for practice and even for download as a PDF. We also do videos related to discussion of these which are there and we will continue to do them even now for your better understanding. 
if you are a working professional or even if you are a full time student how you should be preparing how much time you can devote how you can manage your time to prepare for this we have worked out a detailed study plan and a live class schedule which again you can download from the description of this video our batch is starting from tomorrow 19th of march where we will have the introduction about how to approach and your preparation and all your queries related to it and the course and we will move on to do two hours bridge classes from wednesday 20th till saturday the uh, 23rd these bridge classes will help you uh, bring at uh, your level to start your preparation in relation to all these subjects of commerce and accountancy costing finance economics management companies act taken by the experts led by pratik sir who is a chartered accountant and understands and has practiced well all these topics related to accountancy and costing what should be my preparation strategy as of now the last question that is related to the preparation strategy it is very very important that your strategy is unique to yourself we are providing this live class and study plan schedule to help you navigate to your own strategy but the most important thing is the three questions you answer about your own self which is understand what will not change so you know what will not change qre is not going to change ga is not going to change why because ga even if the weightage goes up and down it will still be needed for your finance paper it will still be needed for your interview preparation it will still be needed for some kind of aptitude checking under your paper what will not change is your questions related to some background of finance economics because and financial markets because sebi is the regulator about of the financial markets so those topics are very low chances of getting changed so your these topics that are covering as of now is covering the more or less the entire ambit of the finance subjects and therefore your study and preparation here was going to be very very beneficial be prepared with what you know this is another very important point in your preparation strategy that what you are already aware about what the current syllabus is and given your own educational background and profession background if any what is it that you have a strength in and what is it that you have a weakness in and given that you work on your strength so that you don't have to spend more time on that once the notification is out and on your weakness areas to identify where you are giving some consistent effort to improve and bring it up to some level so be prepared for what the things that you know till the 13th of april till you get more clarity and after that you get into the mode of revision or updation depending on what is told after on the 13th of april and last and very very important is keep an open mind for the expected changes that may come so expected changes if i say given what the sebi legal saw the changes in its last recruitment cycle in 2023 the things that we saw the changes were related to two aspects they brought in certain topics like the regulations Uh, sebi regulations were brought in as additional topic another change was that was done that the descriptive was brought in right so be be mentally prepared for the kind of changes that can be come in and therefore if any of these changes do come in or if they don't come in something else comes in then you should be mentally prepared do not panic everybody will be on the same footing you will get enough time and i exam b is there to stand with you to provide you with any kind of changes that will come and help you prepare with uh, that so repeating again where we started ending on the same note invest in the preparedness as of now not in prediction and that is what will take you towards your goal wishing you all the best if you have any other queries you can always reach out to us on the number given on the screen or write to us on the email or visit our website for more details again please do not forget to subscribe and press the bell icon for continuous updates related to your dream job thank you we are also available on app on google play now so you can download and use conveniently uh, the entire course 
or the other free mock tests, previous year papers available on our website. Wishing you all the best.